Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Rhino 7. I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a chain link, a small chain link that you can copy in Rhino 7 with the pipe command. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and open up Rhino 7. We're going to go to New, and we're going to specify from the templates that we want a small object in inches. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get our circle tool. We're going to click and drag out. We're going to type in 2 in the command prompt up here because we want that to be 2 inches. And now we're going to go ahead and type in pipe. We'll, from the command prompt, we'll hit pipe. We want to come down here and click on the object, the circle. And then we want to drag until we have the circle about where we want it to be. So I'm going to say 0.75 in the command prompt. Hit enter. And then enter again. Okay, that's going to be our, our first link. And we'll go ahead and click on this window here, the perspective window. We'll go ahead and say view uh, shaded so we can see what we're doing there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get the uh, circle tool again. I'm going to come down here to the front view. I'm going to go ahead and click. I'm going to drag out, type in 2 in the command prompt. And we may have to move this over a little bit, so go ahead and type in move in the command prompt. Click on move. And we're going to select this object here, right mouse click. I'm going to go from the center, and we're going to just nudge it over. Okay, now go ahead and type in pipe again. Hit enter. We'll select this down here. Right mouse click. Actually click. Something happened now. Let me undo. Let's get on our pointer tool. Okay. We'll go ahead with our circle drawn. We'll go ahead and type in the pipe command. Got to repeat this. Click. We'll click down here. We'll go ahead and drag out. And we'll type in 0.75. Hit enter and then enter again. Okay. And go ahead and uh, right mouse click on this and give it a spin. We can see that the one links a little too close. So we'll go ahead, we're going to go ahead and get our pointer tool. We're going to click on this link here. We're going to type in move. And we're going to go just in, in a little bit there. And then click off. Okay, this is going to be the start of our, our chain link. Might have to make it a little smaller or make the outer ring bigger. Looks like this links a little small to do two of them. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's start this over. This is kind of how you get started with it. I'm going to go ahead and make a bigger circle. So let's go ahead and type in three. Or actually, yeah, we'll go three. Enter. Actually, I need to change the diameter. So we'll go ahead and click off of that. Let's get the tool here. Let's go. Go ahead and click here. We'll put diameter. Um, yeah, six is good. We'll go ahead and do one. That's six. Okay, now we're going to go put our PIPE in the command prompt, pipe. We'll click pipe. We're going to select the pipe down here, and then we're going to drag. We want that to be probably, let's just go 0.5. Type in 0.5, enter, enter again. That way we'll have more room to, to do these things. Okay, this is our first link here. Now we're going to go ahead and draw another link out here. And we're going to go, let's see, we want to go to six. So right there, click. Let's 
grab our pipe tool, type in pipe in the command, go ahead and select pipe, click there, let's drag our radius out to 0.5 and hit enter. Okay, this is the start of our ring here. We'll go ahead and select that, go up into the command prompt, type move, and we're going to move from midpoint down there over. All right, now we have a little bit, you can get rid of this one here. Okay, now this is the start of our uh, little ring here. So now we can go ahead and um, we have a, a, a flat one here, then we have one that's top. We have to draw another one of these. Okay, I didn't get the command line out. Actually, let's uh, undo that. We have to come up here. Let's get the click there. Drag out till it's six. Go ahead and type in pipe in the pipe command. Select the circle. Drag our circle down to 0.5. Hit enter. Enter again. Okay, now we're going to move this one. I'm going to click on that. Type move in the command prompt. Go ahead and select move. We can go from here over to here as long as they're not touching. That's fine. You can go ahead and get rid of that stray. All right, now this is the start of our, our chain. And then you would just repeat the process. And then the color up, texture these, we'll go ahead and import. We'll do some metal. Um, let's try burnished. Uh, burnished uh, brass. Let's try that. Go ahead and just click, click and drag. In order to see what the texture is going to look like, you got to change the view of your window down to rendered. So we'll click and drag on these. This will be the start of your uh, of your ring here. Now, if you want to do uh, just copy these, you can get rid of this ring here. Just drag a marquee around that whole thing. Go to your copy, click on copy, and then you can basically go from there over to there. Now you have another, uh, and go ahead and click the uh, tool there. Now you have another, um, you have a one that's like this, a top one, a bottom one, a top one, and then you just re repeat the process until you have a chain length of your desired length. Um, pretty basic to do using the pipe, the pipe command. Um, just make sure you leave enough room inside of your links so that uh, they're not touching. And then you can go ahead and print that out. And you, once you uh, clean out any of the support, if you do print with support, you basically would have a loose chain. So uh, that's gonna end today's tutorial. Hopefully you found that useful using the pipe command. Uh, you can basically uh, follow, you can take your circle and follow a shape. Uh, you could make a paper clip this way. Uh, you could do a chain link this way. You could make a chain link that's not round. You could have one that's kind of oblong. Um, but this is basically the basis for creating a, uh, a chain link um, in uh, Rhino 7. Okay, thank you for watching, and if you got anything out of this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And thanks for watching.